What's going on there YouTube? Welcome to PlayStation Share Factory 101. This is Average Jojo Gaming and I'm going to be your mentor for the day. I'm going to be teaching you in depth how to create your own custom videos using PlayStation's video editing software, Share Factory Studio. Now before we get started, go ahead and take a couple seconds to headshot that like button and subscribe to see all the educational videos and if interested, some gaming videos, which by the way were all created here on Share Factory Studio. So if you'd like to see some examples, feel free to browse. Alright, let's get into it. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to split, trim, and add transitions to your video clips. This is where some real editing starts to take place. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is add the clips you want to edit. If you need help with that, you should watch the previous video titled Starting New Video Editing Project. It's going to tell you everything you need to know to do that, okay? So, here's a clip, clip that I'm going to use for this example. By the way, this clip was taken from a game that I play called Predator Hunting Grounds. It's a super fun game. I can't stop playing it. I got addicted. Um, anyway, so now you decide what a part of the footage you want to be in your final video. So let's see. Let's just keep it simple. Uh, on this match, we ended up defeating Predator. So he goes down and then he activates his self-destruct device. So I'll just show that sequence and that's it. So what you want to do is find the exact point in the video that you want to start at and delete everything before that point. So I want to start here, right here. Okay, now since we're editing, not adding, we're going to press square and your editing options pops up. Now select split clip and it's going to take you back to the video and you'll be in split clip mode. So imagine you have a pair of scissors and, you, uh, and, and a roll of film. You can just cut and cut and you have a whole bunch of little split segments of the video, right? You can basically do that here too, but with just a click of a button. For long videos, you'll probably have, definitely have more than one or two splits. You'll probably have several. The maximum amount of splits you can have uh, on a video is 100 at a time. If you need more, well, that's a discussion for another video. So let's just keep it simple for now. So find the spot you want to split at and press X to make your selection. Now, since we don't need any of the content before this point, we can just delete it. So scroll over to it. And while still in the split clip mode, you can just press square from here to delete it. Ah, but what if you back out of the split clip mode, right? Well, don't worry about that. All you got to do is scroll over to the selection you want to delete, press square to bring up the edit menu and select delete. Simple as that. And now you have the starting point you want and you can do the ending point the exact same way. Except instead of deleting everything in front, you delete everything that falls after the end point. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to trim. Trimming is similar to splitting. The difference is this. You notice how when sliding the bar, toward the beginning of the clip at the bottom left when in split clip mode the split clip icon will darken or highlight when crossing over the one second mark that's because you can't split clips that are less than a second in length so if you want to shave off a small portion of a clip that happens to be less than a second long that has to be done using the trim edit okay so right here say you split it in a spot that you don't like or you change your mind you want to start the clip just a tiny bit later back out to the main control panel screen Press square to edit the clip, select trim clip, and then it's going to take it to this screen. I'm going to try not to be confusing, but I want to explain what you're looking at here. You see a highlighted blue area with the L and an R icon. That represents the footage that we have so far in our video. And that blue section is inside of an even longer shaded box. The whole box, including the highlighted blue section, represents the entire clip length before we made those two splits earlier. Remember that? So from this screen, if you decide you wanted to add back on some of the footage you deleted, you can do so by dragging the left stick to add more back to the front of the clip, like this. Or you can use the right stick to add more back onto the end of the clip. Again, the shaded area is the part we cut off already, so for the purpose of this video, that's not what we're trying to do. So we simply want to just trim off less than about a second of the light blue box area, which is part of the clip that we're wanting to use in our video. Now, if you mess up on this part, don't sweat it. Just hit the square button to reset it and try again. Just start over. So again, when you want to trim off just a tiny amount from the beginning and you think you got a steady enough thumb control to slightly slide the bar over, feel free to do so that way. But if you want to fine tune the trim, L1 and L2 will move the bar frame by frame. L1 adds more footage to the beginning one frame at a time and L2 will take away footage one frame at a time. The same goes for the end of the clip. R1 will slide the bar to the left, which will delete one frame at a time, and R2 will add back onto the clip one frame at a time. So I'm sorry, if that's confusing, just remember this. 
the the one buttons l1 and r1 the bumpers slides the bars left the two buttons or the trigger buttons the l2 and r2 they slide the bars to the right then once you're satisfied press x to accept the changes i hope that part was easy enough to understand if any of that confuses you please drop a comment and ask your question i'm sure i'll be able to help you with any confusion but if we're good so far then we can move on to the next topic transitions some people like to use transitions when going from one scene to another scene or when they want to get rid of footage within a clip like spots where there's nothing going on and then conjoin the, the two remaining clips smoothly together like for example when I'm running through the jungle in this game when I'm running through the jungle and there's there's nothing going on I want to just skip ahead to another exciting part we just take what we we'll just take what we learned from splitting clips and, and deleting clips and take out the sections we don't want and then put a transition between them to join the two pieces of leftover clippings. Let me show you. First, I need to see how this looks. So, so right here, I'm shooting. I'm shooting, so there's something going on here. There's something going on here too. Okay, it's from here. Okay, from this point, I'm gonna go ahead and split it. Then from here all the way up until this point, I'll take it out. So I'll make a split here too, all right? So now I have three separate clips. I don't want the middle section, so take what we learned so far and delete this section. Now we're left with the two clips that we want to conjoin together and put a trans uh, transition in between. Now this is what it looks like without a transition. It's so sudden, just a sudden change. All right. All right. Let's add a transition now. Share Factory has a lot of different transitions to choose from. Let's look at some right now. First, you're going to want to move the bar over to the clip you want to add a transition to and then select the plus symbol and select add transition like this. I'm not going to run through them all because there's just too many, but I will show you some of the ones that I commonly use. Now, this is going to be an area for you to explore yourself, so have fun doing it. So in the dissolves category, you have the crossfade. Fade through color, burn fade, HSB fade. From the wipes category, we got rotate, zoom in, ellipse explode, clock wipe. From the comic category, we have what are called the next panel transitions, like as if you're reading a comic book. Page turn up, page turn left. But the one I have to say I use the most is the crossfade. It's in the dissolves category, so we're gonna just stick with that. Keep in mind, you can add transitions between any two clips, as long as the transition animation isn't longer than the clip itself. You can see that each transition shows you the length of the animation. And that's all there is to it for transitions. I really hope that this was easy enough for you to understand. And again, please, if any of this confused you, and you want some clarification on a particular topic, drop a comment. I'm here to help you, alright? That's going to be all for now. I think I'm going to do a sticker overlay for the next video. I'll explain how to place them, how to set their start and stop points, change their sizes, how to give them animations. So if that's of any interest to you, stay tuned. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. You guys take care. Peace.